Listen up, chumps. So, uh, Far Cry Primal came out not too long ago, and I've been playing it a lot and enjoying it. Uh, and I was planning on doing a review on it, but I haven't actually finished the game yet. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue playing it until I finished it, get more footage, and then do a review in my next video. But until then, I've decided to show off some of my awesome art skills that I definitely really have by recreating the Far Cry Primal uh, cover art in Photoshop by drawing it with my mouse. Some may call this a waste of time, but some can go jump off a bridge. So here it is, the Far Cry Primal cover art in all of its glory. Uh, I'm gonna start by drawing the man right here. Uh, gonna start by using his hair, get a selection of his color. Then I select the brush and I start drawing. Now, I am a strong believer that there is no such thing as mistakes, you know. Uh, if you make a mistake, then you just gotta sort of, you know, go with it. So it, if I ever do, you know, fuck up, make some mistake that I'm not really proud of, then I am just gonna go with it. I'm not gonna be racing. Fuck. Okay, well, starting now. Starting now, I'm, I'm not going to be erasing anything after this. Very important when you're drawing the hands to get all five fingers. Uh, you know, accuracy really is key here. We're, we're going for a pixel-perfect recreation of the original. Now, drawing fire is tricky because, you know, it's an effect. It's a, it's a real-life effect, and recreating that in drawing is very difficult. So what I like to do is just, you know, go with my guts and uh, believe that my, my drawing instincts will take over if I just, you know, uh, recreate the fire. Fire has a lot of colors, so you gotta go ahead and add in as many, many colors as you can. Yeah, on, I think, I think we're just, we're gonna need a couple, a bit, a few more colors. Yeah, we're just, we're gonna, we're gonna need some more colors here, like this, this, this isn't enough. Okay, looks like we've got a sufficient amount of colors here. Not all of them are necessarily the correct color, but that, that's fine, that's fine, you know, we roll with it. Honestly, I don't, I don't know why all artists don't, you know, draw with their mouses. It's so, it's so much better. Like I said, all five fingers when drawing the hand, you've got to be very careful, very uh, precise. So with the skirt, you got to do things a little bit differently. You draw the uh, the outer lining like this, and then you color it in. Now, when you are coloring it in, as any artist will tell you, you have to be very, very careful to not go outside the lines. This is imperative. If you go outside the lines, it really just it takes it detracts from the whole art, and it really it make it makes you look like an idiot. Is what it does. Now, as you can see in my particular. Uh, interpretation of this masterpiece. I have not actually left any room for the rocks. So what we're gonna do is we are going to get the, the green mossy color of the rocks and we're just gonna very uh, subtly draw it in and insinuate that his legs are, abs are actually trapped underneath the rock. So now that we've perfectly recreated the uh, the man on the front cover, we gotta add in this saber-toothed tiger right here. As you can see, the white tooth of the saber-toothed tiger against the white background really doesn't pop. So instead of using white, I'm gonna go ahead and use neon pink. Uh, not technically the right color, but you know what? This is my show and I do what I want! Now as you can see, I've nailed the uh, the general body language of the, of the saber-toothed tiger here pretty eloquently. All I have to do now is uh, add in a tail. Uh, that, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, and the saber-toothed tiger is done. Uh, as you can see, I've made some professional uh, modifications to just make it look a teensy bit more realistic. Now, we move on to the mammoth. Now, as you can see, this mammoth is pretty big and hairy. Which, coincidentally, is just how I like my men, am I right, ladies? <laughs> gonna ignore the tusks for now, I'll come back to that later. For, for now, I just want to get the big, big shape of the mammoth in. So we start here, go all the way up here. As you can see, he has a little, little hump, hump up there on his head, so we add in the hump. Uh, and then we go all the way back down. And that's looking pretty good already. That's looking pretty fantastic. But, you know, all we have to really do is just add in the, the minute details and we're, we're pretty much done. I'm going to be ignoring the big Far Cry Primal logo right here and just go straight onto the mammoth's eyes. Now, I'm not very good at drawing eyes. I haven't actually had to draw eyes yet except for the little black dot for the panther. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, Google search a pair of googly eyes to stick right onto uh, to that, to that big mammoth. And there you go, you just slot these on really nice right here. Uh, it's a pretty subtle cheat, you know, um, unless you were really good at art or really good at Photoshop, you wouldn't really be able to tell the difference. Uh, very good for any, any art projects that you may be working on in the future. 
So now I'm going to move on to the tusks, and as you can see, the tusks really are the, the eye catcher, you know, the main item of the of the whole thing. So you really got to be careful when you're doing this. You want it to look as, as beautiful as possible. And bada bing bada boom, that is how you draw tusks, ladies and gentlemen. So now really all I'm going to do is just tune in the fine details, you know, clear some of the, some of the stuff up, and then I'll add in the background and then we are done. And there we go, a pretty good recreation of Far Cry Primal's cover art. Uh, obviously I left out the, uh, the Far Cry Primal logo in the 18 and the Ubisoft, but apart from that, it is pretty hard to tell the difference. I am quite proud of that. So the moral of the story here, kids, is uh, believe in your dreams, work hard, uh, eat your vegetables, and you can accomplish anything. I am going to go cry now. I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.